So, boom, just to give you like, a little background about where I live in it, like, obviously, there's like every now and then I find myself having to put it on people and stick it on people and pattern up the block in it. Yeah. Someone's always doing some bullshit, yeah, that I don't like. And if I've got a problem with whatever someone's doing, I'm going to confront them, yeah. No matter how big, how small they are, yeah. So no matter how big, how small they are, I'm going to stick it on them, whatever. Yeah? So my article issue with the people at number one, number three, number four, everyone on my terrace, I've had to stick it on them so far, innit? Yeah, my little terrace, innit? Yeah. I think the only person I ain't had to stick it on is myself. Yeah, so I might just go back and look in the mirror and stick it on myself just to even out the playing field and make sure that everyone had it put on them. But yeah, I had to stick it on everyone on my block, whatever, innit? As man said before, you got a man standing out on the fucking estate at midnight, bouncing a fucking basketball like what are you doing fam yeah, you're a grown man bouncing a fucking basketball at midnight yeah playing loud music standing in the middle of the street singing man fucking singing for the same x factor in it so boom um, there's some little kids yeah who play football at the back yeah and they're a little nuisance or whatever, innit? Yeah? Badly behaved kids, innit? Yeah, whatever, innit? Yeah. I can relate to that, so I can't get angry at them or nothing like that, innit? Yeah. I see that the ball, their football come in my back garden, whatever, innit? Yeah, cool. Gave it back to them. But before I gave it back to them, I had to tell them off because they were swearing at my neighbour. Now, my neighbour is a 75 year old pensioner, yeah? the one with the dog, yeah. <laughs> So I thought, all right, cool. Yeah, so, so one time I had to stick it on them and just say, listen, yeah, don't be swearing at the neighbour, whatever. And then their foot will come in my garden one more time. So I said to them, I'll give it back to you this time, but next time your parents are going to have to come and get the ball. Yeah? So they're out there most times, whatever, and yeah, just making up noise. But nothing, nothing I have to say anything about, whatever. And yeah. But today... They were outside my house now not directly outside my window but they're like one door down outside my neighbor's house whatever isn't it? Yeah. and i can just hear them making noise in it yeah now if they're making noise at the back where there's a car park that's different that's a fucking car park but you don't need to be standing outside my house yeah? so i'm in the back garden and i can hear them from the back garden i can hear them outside the front so i've gone inside to um Oh, so I've got OCD in it, so I wash off all my Coke cans and that yeah, before I drink them. So I'm washing off the Coke can, and I must have shouted through the window, hey, you don't move away or whatever, innit? Yeah. Anyway, I ended up going outside, right, and telling them to move, right, and they're like, why? As soon as they said why, that just got me mad. Like, why are you asking me <laughs> why, like, why am I asking you to move? Yeah, you should just fucking move, yeah? So anyway, the little kid's like, no, we can stay where we want. I just grabbed his hand, yeah, and tried to pull him along. He's like, get off me, whatever, innit? Then they start running their mouth and that. Like, they were getting proper mouthy, you know, like, proper rude, you know. They told me to shut up. Me! They told me to shut up. Oh, my God. When they told me to shut up, listen, I ain't one for, I ain't going to hit no kids or nothing like that. But I really wanted to slap the shit out of these kids. I said, get you lot's parents right now. I want to fight you lot's parents, innit? Because I ain't going to hit no children because I know they're going to throw the book at me, innit? Yeah. But I said, where are you lot's parents? Yeah, I want to fight the, pit, the parents right now. I'll take all of your parents right now because there was three kids. And I know two of them are related to each other. Well, I was guessing two of them were related to each other. And it was a third one, innit? Yeah, I said, I'll fight all your parents right now. Yeah, there's no way these kids are being disrespectful to me. Innit? So I went in my house and then they start pulling out phones and talking about, oh, um, we're going to record this and use it as police evidence, whatever. And so I came out of the house, innit? Yeah? And I said, you don't live three doors down, innit? Like, they live at the back of my house, but three doors down, innit? Yeah? I never see them go in the house, but one of my neighbours before told me that they live three doors down from the end, innit? So I was like, what, you don't live at three doors down? Oh, you're watching us, you're watching us, you're watching us. Yeah? I've gone to the house now, not the door, innit? Yeah? And the mums come to the house. Now, to be fair, I thought the parents were going to be, you know, like them parents that don't give a fuck or nothing like that, right? Um, they were actually all right, you know? Like, you know, the, the mum was like, why did you grab my son or whatever, innit? And I said, listen, yeah, if he was older, the outcome would have been worse, innit? Yeah, like, there's no way I'm having some little kids talk to me like that. No way. Me! 
Me, like a big man can't talk. Yeah, like the realest man them can't even chat a certain chat. So there's no way some little kids. Kids, you know, I'm talking about like fucking eleven years old talking shit to me. Me, Jay Wise. No, no. So anyway, talking to the parents now, and um, obviously the mom's come to the door, answer the door, the dad's come behind or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I thought the dad was, was going to be on a bit of rage, isn't it? Because I see him threaten the old lady next to me the other day, and yeah. So I thought, all right, boom, like, if I go to the house, yeah, he's going to be on rage because obviously I'm going to tell him I grabbed your son, or his son's going to tell him. Either way, you don't fuck him out, he's going to find out. So I thought he was going to be on rage because the other day he threatened the lady next door to come back. He's going to rip the dog's head off and all kind of madness like that. So I thought he was going to be on rage. And I knew when I was going there, I was like, if the parents start chatting shit to me, fists are going to start flying. And I know I'm going to get in trouble because I've gone to their house, whatever. Even if I was going there with the intentions to go on a talking thing, if it kicks off and we start, yeah, I'm going to get in trouble. Yeah. But I don't give a fuck. I'm not having no one disrespect me, innit? Yeah, I'd rather get in trouble. As bad as it sounds, yeah, I'm not having no one disrespect me, innit? Yeah, no fucking way. Especially when I've been nice as well, because I was nice to the boys before, innit? Yeah, I told them, like, just behave yourself, whatever, innit? And they were, you know, they were, they, they, they were nice back, whatever, innit? But sometimes I think just people in general, they take kindness for weakness. Talking to their parents or whatever, and... They was like, no, nah, you can't be putting your hands on my child or whatever. And I said, yeah, 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 fair enough for me. Yeah. But, you know, if they were older, it would have been a different outcome or whatever. Oh, please believe, I wish that boy was 18. I would have slapped the shit out of him, innit? Yeah. Leave him face red. Yeah. Face red. I would have slapped the shit out of him, innit? But I can't, because man, look all you, it's like 11 years old or whatever. Yeah. But I'm having a discussion with their parents, and, uh, and thankfully, their parents were reasonable parents. So, they sent the kids inside the house, whatever, um, and said, oh, you're, you're not allowed out for the rest of the day or whatever. Now, this is after a five minute conversation. As I walked off, I heard the mum shouting at the kids, get in the house, nah, 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 whatever. And then, boom. Um, yeah, so this is the part you don't know now, Nadia, isn't it? So I'm thinking, you never know. They might call the Jakes on, man, innit? You never know, innit? They might think, oh, I'll call the police on, on, on me or whatever, innit? So boom, I'm upstairs in my room and I'm on my laptop and I hear at the door. So I'm like, so I come downstairs now, open the door and it's the little boy who was running his mouth to me or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. He basically come to say sorry, isn't it? Yeah. His dad was there with his younger brother and they basically all come to say sorry or whatever, isn't it? So I was like, you know what? So he was like, listen, yeah, in future, if you told me to move, right? I feel like it was scripted though, but it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I know he came to say sorry because his dad made him say sorry, but I feel like it was scripted, but it's all right, it's cool, isn't it? He, he said, if you ever tell me to move because I'm being disruptive, then I'll just move straight away. I won't give you no, yeah, whatever. And I said, that's cool, isn't it? So I said to the dad, right, the problem wasn't that they were making up noise outside the front of my house. That's cool, yeah? They're kids, right? Even if it's adults, it don't matter. If you're making up noise outside my house, that's cool. It's when I ask you to move, don't tell me or don't ask me why. And the dad said, that's exactly what we, talking about him and his wife, i.e. The, the parents um, the parents of the children, the father and the mother said, yeah, that was the problem. It wasn't that you was making up noise outside the man's house. It's that the man, the man asked you to move and you questioned him and you asked him why. Yeah. When you're blatantly being disruptive outside the house, just move. So anyway, talking to them just for a couple more minutes or whatever, innit, yeah? And then, yeah, I shook the boy's hand. I shook the little brother's hand, little wretch, you. And then I shook the dad's hand. I said, no, nah, I, I appreciate that. Then basically, I just gave them a little story of it's always nice to deal with parents who have a reasonable thought process, yeah, who are reasonable parents or whatever, innit? Because there's a lot of kids out here, right? They are bad children, right? And automatically... When adults see bad children, or even other children see bad children on the road, they think that their parents are fucking lunatics. And boy, if the kids are acting like that, their parents must be just as bad. And trust me, it's not always like that. Yeah. So the story I told them was this. Well, basically, it just gave them a little briefing. I was like, yeah, one time I was riding a moped illegally or whatever, and um, the policeman stopped me. I was underage. 
Yeah, it didn't have, it was fully unlegit, no MLT, no tax, no insurance, no CBT, underage, everything. Everything that could have been illegal was illegal, yeah, with me, yeah. And the policeman took me to my house. Thankfully, he stopped me from around, the, he stopped me around the corner from my house. He took me to my house and he had a word with my mum and he saw that my mum was a reasonable adult. So he decided not to arrest me. He even let me keep the moped. Yeah. Man spoke about that in one of my videos, the one I'm talking about my driving and riding experience. So, yeah, I just said to him, yeah, man, he said, I appreciate it. Like, I actually appreciated it a lot that his dad um, sent him over there to say to say sorry and that, man, because you don't want to be, you know, in beef with this person, in beef with that person, especially, <laughs> I ain't getting to know, I'm not having no children disrespect me on the street, yeah? Eventually, I'll end up going back to prison. I'm not having it. Yeah? I'm not having it. Situations like that, they could turn volatile. Yeah? This is the thing, right? Little minor altercations like that, little kids be running their mouth. Yeah? They could turn volatile. Someone could end up dying from a situation like that. Yeah? Like, people watch this and think, oh, yeah, whatever. In it. But that is... Some people have died over madness because it's not... The little minor incident, right, is what it's led to, yeah?